What's going on YouTube? It's kind of been a while, but back at you with some more prospecting ventures. Today I'm actually sort of in my hometown, Canyon City. I'm over here off uh, Reynolds Riverwalk Park. I'm going to turn the camera around. I'll kind of show you guys where I'm at, what I'm playing with. As you see, bunch of river rock. This is where the river used to run, and over time it's just kind of moved over. So I'm kind of hoping to find some decent spots over here and punch a few holes. So I know it's been a while since I've done a uh, prospecting video. There's a few reasons behind it, and we'll kind of get into it a little bit. So I've had more gigs, more media gigs, content, drone work than I actually anticipated when I started to offer those kind of services. So I've had to kind of take a small break from, you know, our kind of content, what started the channel and, you know, our roots. So we're not going to abandon that. So here we are with a whole new series for the next couple weeks. Um, when I'm going to be trying new spots all down the river in Canyon City and let you guys know what I find, the materials, the challenges, the equipment I'm using. We might even just have a good time together. You know, and in, if you guys find any value in any of this content, please make sure to hit that subscribe tab because it really helps our channel out. Alright guys. So by now I've probably have already played some of that drone footage, but if not, it's probably a good time to play it. two levers I left mine undone collects all the heavy material side holes is where the water comes in through these as you can see water in water out this allows it to be stratified and it kind of takes most of this material this is how easy it is to clean out So we'll take a few moments and get this cleaned out, get the cons cleaned out and we'll go from there.
that's what I think it is. This is already going to be a pretty promise in hands, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to be able to do this, but I'm going to try. on how the fluid dynamics works. Uh, to be quite honest, I'm still kind of learning the specifics on how it works. But from what I've learned so far from uh, a little bit of research is that the, when it goes over the grizzly, which is like a little hole plate that allows the rocks to go over and all the heavier material like the gold and the pipe magnet go through goes into a collector box. But then on the side you get uh, two collectors that allow water to flow through and it allows all of that hematite on the inside of the box to be stratified. Uh, it vibrates, the water makes all the light material come up to the top, float out. Um, you guys kind of seen a little bit in the video how quick it ran through the material. It, it moves fast. It didn't take me five minutes to run the whole bucket. And that was me kind of staring at the river, watching the clouds come in, figuring, you know, if it's time to pack up or not. It's a good apparatus. It's a very good tool for prospecting. But my biggest complaint with it is, is how quick it gets chewed up. And that's why I spend the time to classify the material. I'll have people argue with me, well, classify and run it down as loose. Classic sluice like a uh, Royal or a Keen, it could speed up the process. Yes and no, I feel I have both a Royal and a Sluice Dynamic, and we've literally have ran them side by side. Very little gold loss, and actually the Fluid Dynamic Sluice runs a lot faster and smoother. You might have to put your hand in it and knock those rocks out to allow it to rotate freely, but Sometimes the little headaches is worth 